peace and blessings of Christ be with you all. Today's sermon, uh, did Allah really reveal the Torah and the Gospels? Surah 3, verse 3. He has sent down upon you, O Muhammad, the book in truth, confirming what was before it, and he revealed the Torah and the Gospel. Um, according to the Middle East scholar, E.M. Weary, whose translation of the Quran is still used today, in pre-Islamic times, Allah worship, as well as the worship of Baal, were both astral religions in that they involved the worship of the sun, the moon in the case of the god La, and the stars. When have we ever this, the is a, this is when in have we ever a comprehensive the commentary on the Quran by Osnabrück, Otto Zeller, Verlag, 1973 to page 36. You know what's the good thing? Sorry. Hold on, hold on, please. What's the good thing is that we're using a microphone, so your heckling won't even be heard. So don't I'm waste your time. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter what heckling. you're saying. So heckling. today we will use this Torah from the Quran to test its authenticity that, that against the, the Torah yeah, okay, of the ahead. Gospels. The first citation will be Surah 2, 67 to 73. And we'll cross-reference it with Deuteronomy 21, verses 1 to 9, which is in the Torah. We will start with the Quranic teaching first to show the clear contradiction to the Torah reading. The Jews and the Christians at the time knew Muhammad was a false prophet from this ignorant revelation. No, they knew he was a true prophet. The sermon they will give like the audience a clear example why Allah is why? not God and why Muhammad is a false prophet. So I'll start with Quran 267. I don't, I don't know why two black men believing in Jesus anyway. Can you seeing keep your as, racism away from no. here? It's not relevant. No, Thank I'm, you very I, I, much. I don't know why there's two black well, men worshiping Jesus. Well, you don't need to have Jesus. Uh, when Jesus so clearly said so, he only came so, from the lost sheep of Israel. is the start. We're not the lost sheep and of recall Israel. when We're Moses said to We're his people, Jesus. indeed, Jesus. Allah commands Why you to slaughter a cow. They said, do you take us in ridicule? He said, I seek refuge in Allah from being among the ignorant. 268. They said, call upon your Lord to make clear to us what it is, Moses said. Allah says, it is a cow which is neither old nor virgin, but medium between that. So do what you are commanded. Quran 269. They said, call upon your Lord to show us what is her color. He said, it is a yellow cow bright in color, pleasing to the observers. 270. They said, call upon the Lord to make clear to us what it is. Indeed, has all this, cows look alike, that the Quran is false? alike to us, and indeed, we, if Allah will, be guided. 271. He said, he says, it is a cow neither trained to plow the earth nor to irrigate the field. One free from fault with no spot upon her. They said, now you have come with the truth. So they slaughtered her. But they could hardly do it. Why is it saying 272. The Bible? The hand of a woman and we call when husband. you slew a man understand. and disputed over it, but Allah was to Why bring out that down you such a, were concealing. Such a low level. And this is the last verse of the surah, 273. So when we said, strike the slain man with part of it, thus does Allah bring to dead the life, and he shows his signs that you might reason. So bringing the dead to life was the thing that really caught me out in mm. the Surah. Mm. And um, if you go into the Tafsir of Ibn Kathir, and I think it's um, Tabari as well, what happened is that a man was killed and they didn't know who killed him. Mm. So there were four people that were, you know, denying that yeah. they murdered him. Yeah. So what happened is that they took a no, slice of the be meat percent, um, and they beat this man yes. and the man came back to life. Yes. So that is classified as necromancy. Yes. Okay. So we have a very... Um, so from this account, looking at the tafsir and the Quranic verse, now Allah, as we started off before, he said that the Torah and the Gospel, mm. Mm. the God, moon god La, as we said before, mm. said the Torah and the gospel. Mm. So moon, we can moon, now look Arabic. whether we can find out from the Torah from. Exactly. whether moon, it is corresponding. Yes. So after doing some research, we tried moon to correspond legend. which um, verse of the words, Torah so was similar in action to this part of the Quran. Much, and what uh, we cannabis. have actually considered Your was Deuteronomy chapter 21, mm. verses 1 to 9. Um, I will read this. Yes. If one be sl found slain in the land which the Lord thy God has given thee to possess it, lying in the field, and it not be known who has slain him. 
Then the elders and thy judges come, shall come forth, like the and Bible, they shall yeah. measure unto the cities like the which are round about him that is slain. And it shall be that the city which is next unto the slain man, even the elders of that city, shall take a heifer which has not been wrought well, with, Moses. with, has not drawn in the yoke. Mm. And the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer unto a rough valley which is neither ear nor soul and shall strike off the heifer's neck there is the valley and the priests of the sons of Levi shall come near for them the Lord thy God has chosen to minister unto him and to bless in the name of the Lord and by their word shall every controversy be every stroke be tried and all the elders of the city that are next to unto the slain man shall wash their hands over the heifer that is beheaded in the valley and they shall answer and say our hands have not shed this blood neither have our eyes seen it be merciful O lord unto the thy people Israel, mm. which has redeemed and lay not innocent blood unto the people of Israel's child, and the blood shall be forgiven them. So shalt thou put away the guilt of the innocent blood from among you. Then when thou shalt do that, which is right in the sight of the Lord. Mm. So we can see two contrasting verses mm. here. We can see the Quranic verse, which I mentioned before, which was Surah 2. Um, do you have anything to say between the two oppositions? Well, yeah, firstly, I want to say there's clearly a copy here going on. Yes. Some form of plagiarism, but it's very poor. It's very it's poor. Very, very, very poor. It's like an illiterate <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. desert nomad <laughs> yeah. came up with some right. yeah. script and yes. he was too stupid to yes. understand the fuller context of yes. the biblical narrative. You know, and yeah. he tried to yes. make a new story yes. and plagiarize it. Yes. But we we please it, no, go no, ahead. No, 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 that's fine. So, so why do you think, because we talked about this, why do you think, what's with the that's piece of stall and stake that, that, that's supposed oh, to conclude who was guilty or not guilty? Where, where do you think that came from? Well, and why do you think it concluded in a piece of stall and stake, as in the beating? Well, this is a funny thing, and this is one of the things about what that's what is the difference between a miracle and witchcraft? Um, well, one is from God, I would say, yes, from and, the and, and, it's, and it's verifiable. And yes, and another one is, you know, a combination so of human um, um, effort and 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 and, 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 um, and, and the devil and um, um, and um, um, and um, like yeah, human effort and the devil, I would say, which necessarily would not be verified or could not be verified. Well, and and its influence, its source would be Satan. So it, although to, on some level it, it, it may be verified, so but its source is. What Fantastic. Mm. So let's 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 verify De Deuteronomy 21. Mm. This is a man that's been murdered, and they're not sure. So the closest city is going to have a sacrifice performed on behalf for the forgiveness of sins and mm. the atonement mm. for that body. Well, that but in the Quranic yeah. narrative, what basically happens is an act of divination where a piece of meat mm. is taken from a carcass of an animal mm. and used to smack a dead man's body <laughs> and that dead man comes back to life from being hit by a sirloin steak and starts professing, this is a person that murdered me. Mm. Now that act is called necromancy yes. and it's totally forbidden. Mm. So what we would do is go into like our evaluation is irrelevant because yes, as no, Christians, absolutely. we will have to use a biblical narrative. So I'll go to Deuteronomy 18, yes. chapter, uh, verses 9 to 13. Yes. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not need, learn to do after the abominations of those nations. And yet here you are. There shall crazy, not be found are. among you <laughs> any yeah, like one that maketh his son or daughter to pass through yeah. the fire crazy, or that uses normal. divination or no observer of times or an enchanter or a witch. Mm. Uh, we know necromancy mm. and is a witch, sir. Mm. Or charmer or a consultant. This Why is are verse you a 11. Black man following Jesus With when familiar he came, he spirits or a Jeez. wizard or a necromancer. So the God of the Lost Bible is clearly saying that no Lost necromancy. Mm. And it goes no on further on. For Asian all man, that do these Turkish things woman, are an abomination unto the Lord and because of these abominations the Lord thy God does drive them out from before thee thou shalt be perfect 
with the Lord thy God. So necromancy is clearly wrong in the eyes yes. of the God of the yes. Bible. So this is Allah making another cock up, which yes. he always does. Yes. From Surah 3 3 saying he brought the gospel. Yes, because right. in, his, in, in the Quran, the he's teaching much. necromancy. Yes. But in the Bible, we are looking at miracles yes. of the Lord. Yes. So we see in Deuteronomy 21, <laughs> verse 1 to 9, that he is saying, Our Lord, our God is saying, Perform a Why sacrifice on behalf of forgiveness. You know, yes. While the God of Islam is saying to a, a pagan act of right. necromancy. Yes. So can we confirm Surah 3 3? So Surah yeah, 3 because he's made a claim once again in the Quran then that can't be verified. I don't well, know if you have it at hand. You see, it? Allah is the greatest of all yeah, deceivers. Yeah. Our Meanwhile, Makkah, as no usual, one is accepting Christianity. Which everybody right? is saying. Mm. But I'll read that Surah 3 3 yeah. again, which yeah. was the basis of the, of, yeah. of the argument. Yeah. He has sent down good. upon you, O Muhammad, the book in truth confirming what was before it. Mm. Yes. Now, the Quran did not confirm what was before no, it. Not at all. It actually it contradicted monotism. and acted witchcraft, yes. necromancy, yes. which but is all monotism. forbidden by yes. the God of the Bible. Yes. And he revealed the Torah it's and the shame, Gospel. Man. So you so have one false God in your prayer. No, no, we have monotheism. So, 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 so let's deal with that. He, he has one false God and he's pagan. proud of it. He has one false God called Allah you and he thinks that will do. So doesn't the scripture say that it's not enough to believe in one God? You believe in one God, it says, that's fine. It's not enough. Yes. That's right. Seven. Yes. But you're a pagan. You believe in one God. So you're, so you're, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yes. That's right. The devil the, believes the devil in one God. Tremble. Yeah. And these high sky. Yeah. You and so the devil they believes in. Yeah. Fear. So three, the devil three, believes three, in your three, God. Yeah. So so now three, I will go one, in. Yes. Um, I want you to do the gospel. Yeah. Sure. Also, because we've okay. already covered the yes. Torah, but yeah. before you start the gospel, I want to read one thing. Yes. Now, why is the God of why is Allah wrong? Must why not. is Allah wrong? I'll tell you why. Yeah, sure. First John 2.2.2 2, 2, 2. Who is mm. a liar but he that denies Jesus is a Christ? Yeah. He is the Antichrist that denies the Father and the Son. Mm. And we know Jesus. that if we refer to Quran 9.30, Allah says he's, he's no son. He's God. Yes. So what God. does First John chapter That's 5 idolatry. verses 9 to mm. 10? You're pagan, if you're we receive the witness of men, mm. the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he has testified of his son. So this is the God saying he has testified of his son. He that believeth on the son of God has the witness in himself. We believe in the son of God. We have the witness of God in ourselves. He that believeth not God has made God a liar. Right, so you're a liar. Because he believeth not the record God gave of his son. Scripture testifies that you're a liar. So they're liars. Proving that he is a liar and he's calling God a liar. So, you believe in three gods. so Allah is not God according Why to biblical uh, teaching. Yes. Now, God so Brother Hudson, yes. I'll go into this and yes. I'll tell you when to start. Brother Hudson will give us Allah a true God. gospel mm. message, oh, yeah, which is built God. around Allah the Son of God, 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 crucified, resurrected, oh, given Amen. a perfect yes, sacrifice, an atonement for our sins, yes. which the Quran contradicts with Surah 4157, yes. Yes. which says we have killed the Messiah. That's right, yes, we have I was going to deal with that one. So that is why we can now go into the gospel. Yeah. and show that yes. the Absolutely. Quran has uh, Jesus, has contradicted God, 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 the Torah yes. and the Gospel. Yes. So first of all, I want to thank Allah for lying to me in Surah 4, 1, 5, 7 Amen. and saying the Jews said they killed the Messiah. A question you will never answer. If you had a hundred years, if you had a hundred years, you would not answer this question. I challenge you. You would have a hundred, if you had a hundred, you can't answer any questions. You're ignorant. Right. So I want to thank Allah for lying to me and saying that the Jews yeah, said that they killed the Messiah, but they killed him not, neither did they crucify him. Because of that lie, he has led me to the gospel. So I want to thank your God for lying to me. I want to thank your God for lying to me and leading me, yeah, and leading me, yeah, and leading me to the gospel. Now I'm going to start here. So because Islam has nothing to say, it has no gospel, it has no message. We, were, we want to look at now what the script, Yahweh, Yahweh. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, what's your God's name? Right, so now let's go to Surah 1, 47. It's a moon God. Right, so the Quran 47 gives us the gospel. Mark 1, 4. It said Jesus, now John, Jesus After idolatry. John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the idolatry. kingdom. This is what you don't have, the gospel. And saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel or you're going to go to hell. Right. Matthew 4, 17. So we're getting the gospel here. This is what the gospel is. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. You must repent. Luke 13, 5. I tell you, except you repent, Repent, you Jeremiah, will likewise perish. Again, corrupted. Jesus repeats, why except you repent, you will corrupted. likewise perish. John Jeremiah 3, 1, 5. Jesus answered and said, 
unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you are born again, you will not see the kingdom of heaven. I don't want to hear You know the again. funny thing, you're wearing eyeliner like a prophet. Verily, I say I unto thee, yeah, except you a are, man be born Qatar. of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This is the gospel. That which is born of flesh is flesh. So that flesh produces flesh, spirit produces spirit. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Flesh produces flesh. You're in the flesh. You're not listening. You need to listen. Watch the video. Marvel not that I said unto you, you must be born again. Are you born again? Are you born again? Why not? Why not? You need to be born a second time. Right. First of one and twelve. First of one twelve. But as many as received him, ignoring, to them gave he power, it's convicting him. You're, you're uncomfortable. As many as it, you're, you're uncomfortable. Why are you touching him? Yeah, why are you touching me? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. That's right. Even to them that believe in his name. St. John 6, 47. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he believes on me. Jesus said, Said, if Jesus you believe on him, you will have everlasting similar. life. Where is Muhammad? I copy Jesus. My friend, dress code. where is Muhammad? Where is Muhammad gone when he died? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Like, I mean, died, my noble prophet. Is he in heaven? No, because the Hadith, the Hadith says know? he's not resurrected. You know? He's not resurrected. Didn't Muhammad say he doesn't know where he's going to go? Muhammad said, I don't know what's going to happen no, to me God or you. Muhammad said, I don't know what's going to happen to me or you. Muhammad said, I don't. He didn't. God promised him paradise. Show me where Muhammad where he said that he's gone to heaven. Show me the Quran. Show me. It doesn't. Can, can I give you a yes. citation yes. on yes. Yes. Muhammad is supposed to be resurrected yes. by Moses? That is what the Hadith right. says. What? So he is not That's dead, right. he's in the grave. And that is a fact. Right. He doesn't even know his own religion, but he's going to be a Right. So ignore him. He's, a, he's another charlatan. He's like Jesus a said, your, your I say therefore unto you that grave. you shall die in your sins. Jesus said, You will die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, you will die in your sins. Listen. Is that what Jesus said? You'll have to watch the video. Yes, he did. Okay, what are you going to do about it? Huh? Right, thank you. Listen. Now I've got his attention. Thank you. Right, now I've got your attention. Thank you. And you shall know the truth. Jesus said, You will know the but truth the and the truth will make you free. I'm going to ask you that afterwards. That I want to debate you afterwards. I want to debate you afterwards. Are you going to stick around after? Are you going to stick around after? Of course you're not. As soon as you finish, you're going to run because you have nothing to say no, and you shall right know now, the truth it? yeah but when say I finish right now, but when I finish right you're going to run Forget the when I finish you're going to run and you shall know the truth Jeremiah 8, and the truth shall make you free that's not Jeremiah 8 no, and the, like, therefore if the son makes you free that, when you will be free indeed and, and is Muhammad the truth is Muhammad the truth where did Muhammad say he's the truth show me Let's see how much you know your Quran. Show me Peter Fall is not the truth. A murderer is not the truth. A rapist is not the truth. Show me. Show me the Show me. Follow your prophet. Show me where it says Muhammad is the truth. Follow the Quran. Show me, my friend. Show me. Let's see how much. Let's see how much you know your Quran. Show me. We we follow Prophet Muhammad. Show us in the Quran. Answer the question. You don't have any answers, my friend. You haven't read your Quran. Even even Prophet even Prophet Muhammad said if Jesus. Show us in the Quran. Show me. Show me in the Quran. Show us. This is what Jesus said. Jesus me. said, are you listening, my friend? Jesus said, I know he is. I know he is. He's got nothing to say, that's right. I know, I know. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though you were dead, you shall live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Show me where he said it. 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 Show me where one of you in the Shut name up, of man. Jesus Christ anyway, for the remission of the sins Lord and you shall receive anyway, the gift listen. of the Holy Ghost. Acts 3, 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted Jesus that your sins may be blotted out when the times today, of refreshing shall come me. from the presence of the Lord. He will follow Romans me. 9, 10, he 9, 8. His own if you Jesus will confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto Can salvation. I just say something yes. before you go, go ahead. On. Um, well, like, yeah, we, we do try and have a dialogue yeah, here in brother. Speaker's Corner yeah. and make videos. And there's sometimes at the level and of we stop the nonsense. We stop the there nonsense. is a time that we have to actually talk about something. We stop the nonsense. And I say, oh, you're adult men. And they act like really small kids. You're an adult playground. and I'm a child. No, I beg no. you do, do something. Um, I wish you brought your feeding bottle today. I've understood why DCCI bring their feeding bottles around here. But there's sometimes that, and it's very immature, it says do something about it. I'm not here to fight. Uh, I'm not here. Wow, Land Rover. We've got holy water in there. 
Exactly. The world of Buddha, <laughs> the world of Buddha, Buddha world full of men, uh, dead dogs. So, so far, but, he has nothing to yes. say. So, uh, I, I do say thank you for giving. So, so far, you have nothing to say. say. No, no, you are, you are, you are leaning on the cross. Please, please have some manners. Have some manners. You're being confrontational. All I'm saying is, if Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, let's give him two minutes to let him calm down and act like an idiot. Yeah, and then we'll go on. Yeah. Right, why does the Bible have... Uh, so you just want to get in front of the camera, yeah? That's all it is, is about. What it is? We're going to cut you out, yeah. all right. Okay, um, so... Script. Yeah, Prophet I just Muhammad got one more. Okay. Said, if yeah. Jesus was here today Search alive, on he would follow me. What does yeah. that mean? Oh, what does that mean? Believe. If why we say that we have no Muhammad? sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Huh? Do you, are you sinful, my friend? Muslim. Have you sinned? Huh? Have you sinned? Oh, yeah. Did Muhammad sin? No. Yes, he did. No, he yes, he did. Rape, Surah rape 82. All girl. over the place. Uh, All over the place. Where Surah women's 40. Makeup. That's right. <laughs> where right. women's makeup. One more. Makeup. Revelation 3. So, so, so you're a liar. The Bible it's says you're a liar. If you say you have no sin, you're a liar. Yeah, you're Jesus lying. A you're lying Jesus right now. You're a liar. Your Bible, you're a liar. Jesus is a sinner. Just like Muhammad. Right. Revelation 3. Jesus is a sinner. Behold. Revelation 3. Jesus is so sinner. Behold. 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 Clear. Your Bible. You are in sin, you need to repent, well, or you're gonna to die you and go Bible, to hell. Jesus is a sinner. Okay. Muhammad is a sinner. Jesus is a sinner. He asked for forgiveness. Oh, oh, Muhammad asked for forgiveness up to 70 Why times a day. Did, did you know that? Yeah! Did you know because that? Every, because so he's a sinner. So, so he's a sinner. So he's a sinner. And he didn't know where he was going. He didn't know where he was going, did he? He didn't know where he was going, did he? Did Muhammad know where he was going? Paradise, yes. Show me where he said, show me where Muhammad knew and where he was also, going. And also it was guaranteed for show me companions. Show me where Muhammad knew where he was going. Well. Why don't you show me some scripts? Because you don't have any. I'm telling you, innit? Show me, I'm yeah. I know oh, yeah. you're lying. How like you doing? You're practicing Takiya. No, you're First practicing Takiya. Yeah. Still running, yeah? Because I'm trying to get in there. I'm trying to be star of the show and that, you know. Yeah, I'm no, it's not working though. We'll cut you out. It's okay. You're gonna get cut out. That's what you lot do, innit? Cut, 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 cut. All your videos. If you find something to say, we'll cut you in. If you have something to say, I'm telling you that there's hadith that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says. Can you show me? That if Jesus was was alive today, he would follow me. No, that's not what I asked you. I asked you where did Muhammad say he was the truth? Why would Jesus follow Prophet Muhammad? Where did Muhammad say he was the truth? Why would your God follow Muhammad? Jesus said he was the truth. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that was a, quite uh, a bit yeah, <laughs> hysterical. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, these are parts of the problems of being an evangelist. Mm. Um, we are not from DCCI. Mm. Uh, we actually came here to um, and asked them to film us because the narrative that we were bringing was Quranic and um, mm. dealing with the gospel mm. and the mm. Torah. Mm. Um, now, you can see the Muslim heckler was just there trying to spoil us from giving our message and, and it, what was interesting when we talk about the spiritual battle here mm. is that when you were given the gospel of salvation, yes. that's when the guy got more heated disruptive. and that's more right. disruptive. Yeah. So, so we're trying to speak it in and kind of bring, I was still speaking it, but trying to bring him into it. That's why I was asking the yes. question based on what I'm reading about sin to get his response. There's nothing wrong with a response. There's nothing wrong with what he's doing on an intelligent level. I want to make that clear. It's speaker's corner. I don't personally expect perfect silence. I don't mind being challenged, but it's just got to be orderly. So there's actually nothing wrong. You can't come to Speaker's Corner and not expect that. It's not a recording studio. You know, so I, I personally, I really don't mind. I want to make that clear. It's just that the order. If somebody heckles, you know, reasonably as you're allowed to do at Speaker's Corner or, or more importantly, put your hand up and ask a question, that's fine. So me personally, you know me, I don't want that picture perfect. If I wanted that, I would do this all in the studio. You know, I just require that it's all, it's orderly. That's all. Yes. You know? And we can see yeah. the mocking spirit. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Not to get distracted from our message. What mm. we did refer to was Surah 3. Three, yeah. where um, Muhammad was told by Allah accordingly, yeah. he has sent down upon you, O Muhammad, the book yes. of truth, confirming what was yes. before it, yes. and he revealed the Torah. Yes. So we saw that from Surah 2, yes. 67 to 73, yes. there was a clear contradiction yes. with Deuteronomy contradiction. 21 yes. verses 1 to 9, mm. yes. and we also saw in Deuteronomy 18 verses 6 to 30, yes. or 7 to 30, yes. if I'm correct, off head, that uh, necromancy was part of what Allah was teaching by yes. slapping the dead body yes. with a sirloin <laughs> steak, bringing it back to life to, yes. to actually claim so this again, person yes. murdered me and yes. then fall back to yes. death. That's right. um, we do believe in miracles in the Bible. Mm, a miracle of the Bible is brought by the Spirit of the Lord. Um, a miracle is very different to something that is called witchcraft or necromancy, mm. which the Quran teaches. Another example of a, the um, witchcraft in the Quran is a number miracle which falls under numerology yes. which is an occult practice so Islam is full yes. of many occult practices just like the Kaaba um, going around it XYZ so we have to be very uh, sure that we expose them for the wrong doctrine and we're going to be interrupted by the ignorant 
and immature man that was heckling us through our presentation. Back, no. But what we did get across that was also was... that the gospel of salvation was not oh, in the up, Quran. No, not at all. Yes. Up, Completely absent. Buzz up, let me get the camera in it. All right, oh, complete, yeah. And I just wanted to go on, because this, friendly, this is just one example of what the Quran spends its whole time doing, getting things wrong. The Quran does a I'm couple of things that's complementary. It's interesting that it spends a lot of time saying that it's come to confirm. So we're clear about that. Yes. It's come to confirm. That's quite clear that the Quran is claiming over and over and over again that it's come to confirm. We're clear about that. There's no mistake. So for Muslims to say that the Quran is not confirming or saying it's confirming is wrong, because the Quran is claiming that it's confirming. But it's not actually doing any confirming. You've got to make the distinction. Yes. It's saying that it's confirming stuff repeatedly. No, this has come to confirm that. These scriptures, no meaning the Quran, it's has come to confirm no previous scriptures, meaning the Bible. That's clear. But what it's not doing is actually doing it. You know, any attempt at doing it goes astray. So there's a difference between a claim and actually doing something. Yeah, yeah. It's claiming that it's confirming, it's not actually doing any confirming. What's that that itself is a contradiction. One, one that in things, itself is the biggest contradiction in the Quran. One of the things I've liked, and uh, I will say with yeah. you, yeah. is that you have sound bites. Yes. And the big sound bite is confirmation. Yes. So I think how we will yes. um, end this engagement is reading the scripture. And this is yeah. Luke 24, 44. Yes. And this is somebody that did confirm. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that it might be understood the scriptures. So this is Jesus revealing where he was mentioned in the scriptures. And said unto them, Thus it is written and thus it is, beloved, Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day Amen. and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem and ye are witnesses of these things and behold I send you the promise of my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endured with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried to heaven. Not like Surah 4157 that says he was taken at the cross. So this is a clear contradiction. And they worshipped him, and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And verse 53, and we were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. Amen. And this is our conclusion. Right. You want to conclude with the Allah is Satan? Come on, we've got to say it. Okay, so as, as we mentioned before, why do we have a trouble? We've just read the scripture and you were saying I should conclude Allah is Satan. Yeah. Yes, Allah is Satan because First John 2, 2, who is a liar but he that denies is the Christ. Allah also in Surah 93, verse 1 to 3, the Tafsir, a woman of the Quraysh said, your Satan has deserted you. And it says there clearly, your Lord, or Muhammad, has not deserted you. And if you reference it with Surah 53, the Lord of Muhammad it was mentioned it, to yes. be Jibril yes. because there's no mention of Allah. Yes. So let's get and the Quran made quite clear that Allah yes. is, Satan is a deceiver. Yes. And the Quran confirms that. Doesn't oh yes, it? yes. Uh, Allah is al-Makkah. And John 8:44 is very clear. You are like your father. He was alive from the beginning and a murderer. That's right. And this is all the Bible context. So this is why we have to challenge the Islamic narrative. If you follow Islam, you're following it to a fiery grave of eternal burning. And we as Christians have to bring the gospel of salvation. And give glory to the Lord. Jesus is Lord, Allah is Satan. Thank you very much. And the hecklers will always fail because we are not doing your mission. We're doing service for the Lord. Amen. Thank you.